Howdy folks, TJ here. Unboxing day. Casey Claus has come around again, aka Casey Nightall. Most generous uh, of him to send me. I've done a couple videos already of unboxing, pretty much of uh, mostly all in television goodies. He is one super collector. He has a lot going on. And he knows that I'm, I'm an Odyssey kid, and he actually is in the process of collecting a lot of Odyssey goodies. I'm envious because some of the stuff he has is really cool. I've done pretty good on the Odyssey over the years. I had built up to about 25 games, and I had the Odyssey with the, uh, the voice uh, unit, um, and the name of it's escaping my mind. It's not Intellivoice. I've got Intellivision on the head. Uh, but anyway, uh, so a nice little collection going. And he had some extra Odyssey games, and he said, hey, I'm going to send you another little uh, package. I was expecting this box to be something funny, because to date, the first box I received was, was a box for lettuce. So I had a little joke going on that he's selling me, sending me salad dressing and stuff like that. And then over uh, private messaging, we chat, and he said he's seen some other funny ones uh, that he's done with friends in the past that... The boxes are a little bit more different. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, but this is just a generic box, so we're okay. It's not like it's from adamandeve.com or something like that. Woo! Uh, so anyway, good time for me to do an unboxing. The wife is out for a walk. I uh, had a busy week. And uh, then Friday and Saturday, I've been diving into working on my old Volkswagen bus again. I've kind of got the, the bug again. No pun intended, although I don't own a bug. Oh, no, we do own a bug. We own a new beetle or bug, but I'm a bus guy, so I have an old bus that I'm working on, and I've got my ass out to the garage, and I'm slowly working on my brakes again, so kind of exciting there. So I kind of let my retro stuff go. Normally, Fridays, I like to do videos. I like to play the games of the week, and I like to do unboxing and play games. None of that. Uh, so today's my first chance to kind of do something like an unboxing. So let's unbox what Casey has sent me. Again, thank you very much in advance. Most kind of you, you don't need to send me goodies, but I appreciate them at the same time because I do have a YouTube channel and I've got lots of stuff that I'm buying and collecting and I already have so much funds to do it. But uh, over years, I hope to do tons of videos on all these type of things. And hopefully my videos are enjoyed by many thousands of people that like this retro stuff and get them excited about it and start their own collections and play games and all that. That's my goal, just to have fun and have a YouTube channel that's about positivity and not all the negativity that's typically out there. So hopefully my YouTube channel is serving that purpose. So again, thank you. Now let's open. You say, shut up, TJ, just open the box. So I received this nice box, not lettuce. <laughs> uh, although if you want to send me some boxes that have like whiskey or beer or something like that, or wine, wine, yeah, I like wine. Uh, so, oh, <laughs> I already see this, but you don't see it. So I'm gonna open the box and the first thing, so I started this little thing that I'm hoping catches on. It won't, but I kind of think it, it could for a couple of, of us adults, even though in television is kind of family-oriented. Doesn't mean there's not adults that don't enjoy it. And technically, this is not a bad word in my opinion, so I think kids are okay to say it. So I did this video and I said, <laughs> in television, kicks ass! <laughs> I wanted that to become a new mantra. Every time I do a video, I'm going to go, and television kicks ass. And you're going to have a little pause. And television kicks ass. And then you got the running man that says, you're out to see two games and a very few cool surprises. So I printed this nice little thing. And my scissors. So I did use my scissors to open it, and it looks like I stabbed the running man. Oh, no. There's a little blood pouring out. I've killed the running man. You bastard, TJ. I say bastard too much. It probably could never serve a family purpose, but I can be toned down. So if Intellivision, uh, Intellivision wants to hire me for enthusiastic um, type of YouTube uh, channel video uh, reveal or something, I'm all game for it because I don't have to. In fact, I don't really swear that much. I just say bastard once in a while when I'm playing a video game or hell. Technically, hell is true. There's a hell. There's a heaven, right? Uh, there's asses. We all have asses. And there's donkeys that are asses. So, I don't find that a bad word at all. Bastard, that's a true word. Uh, a dog, 
some people use the word bastard for certain dogs and their breeding situations. So, <laughs> this is a crazy Sunday video. Okay, bubble wrap. So, let's start with the obvious first here. Let me pull some of the Odyssey stuff out because apparently there's more than Odyssey in here. And this is very cool. This is going to, I think in the United States, there was 47 or roughly original games put out for the Odyssey. Let me put this down for right now, and then I'll bring it back up. Uh, so, this will get me closer to that Magic 47 because I have 25, and here's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus, uh, did I say 25? So yeah, I'm getting there. Very cool. So let me show you. Odyssey boxes are still awesome. So let's start. So I've got Alpine Skiing. Love Skiing, one of the first games that I enjoyed on the Intellivision. Football. And even though I'm loving the Intellivision, I'm still technically an Odyssey 2 kid. That's where I was born and raised on. And then later for computers, I was an Atari kid. And um, But I will, for modern day stuff, become an Amico kid. Amico Society. That's why I make the group. <laughs> Hockey and soccer. You know the thing about black shirts? Especially when you got beard. You get all hairs all over and cats and stuff. I'm hyper today. Casino slot machine. Hopefully there's some coming in okay. Pocket billiards. Thunderball. Very cool. I like... What's it called? The, the slot, not slot machines. I already forgot the name of whatever I was going to say. Out of this world helicopter rescue. Pinball machine. That's what I'm trying to think. That's what Thunderball is. <sighs> I need a drink. Las Vegas Blackjack. All games I did not have. And Freedom Fighters. Very cool. So now I've got those new Odyssey 2 box games to add to my collection. Now I think there's some single cartridge only here. So let me get these out. Dynasty 2. Um, blackout and Breakdown. Interesting. I'll have to look and see what the boxes are like for those. And... Nimble Numbers Ned. Never heard of this one. So cool. A television kicks ass. <laughs> I'm glad my wife's not home. She'll be going, God, swear in there. Oh, there's two more box games in here. My wife swears too. I mean, we don't have kids. We got pets. So we, and cats. Three cats. So we swear a lot. Volleyball. So that's another, so that was what? Nine, ten. Math, Math and Magic and Echo. So that's 11 new box games on top of my 25 that I had. You can kind of do the math. I'm getting closer to that 47. A little bit of ways to go because there's some games out there that are probably kind of hard to get. But maybe one day I will get there. So this is, ah, okay. So he kind of told me about this. And this really blew me away, so I don't think this is an extra either. I think this is just him being Casey, being nice and wanting me to try something because there's new in television games, and this one he purchased for me. I don't believe it's an extra, so he just, hey, TJ, this game looks fun. Get it. And I got it for you. Uh, his wife's going to hate me. Plus, she has to mail the boxes for him, so she probably triple hates me. That TJ is never going to be invited over for Sunday dinner. <laughs> By the way, if we're ever down the road, if COVID's over, I'll have to definitely make a road trip down there to your nice new shop. And uh, maybe we can have a fun video day, do a video interview and all sorts of stuff that we could do. Play video games, 
Of course, you're a busy guy, but maybe one day you'll have a day off. In television, Rick Dynamite. And this is a modern game for color TV viewing only. Oh, sweet. And I mean, it's even got a nice little fold-out box. And then on the back, I'll save this for the, the video game review, but this looks really sweet. And it not only does it have a user guide, and again, I'll show this stuff more, and the little doobie doobies that fit into the joy pads. <laughs> doobie doobies. TJ, you're on doobies. It comes with a sweet Rick Dynamite cartridge. It's so cool that we're in 2021 and people are making cartridges for video game systems that started off their lives in the 1970s. Shows you how powerful the retro world can be. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. That's, that's just so, thank you for, I mean, this is uh, awesome. Uh, my birthday's coming up, June 1st. I'll be 55. And it's time for another colonoscopy. <laughs> My, my ass will do all you guys. See, ass is not a bad word. That's so funny. Oh, this box is... I gotta get my scissors out. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have a pair of scissors here. One moment, I'll be right back. I think I stuck them over here in the sink. I don't know where I put them. I gotta dry it off quick. It's got goobers all over it. Just hand washed it. Certain things we don't put in the dishwasher. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll think of this as my birthday gift. Rick Dynamite. So, <laughs> right off the shoot, it's kind of, in television, kicks ass! <laughs> Woo! Probably somebody down at, in television corporate going, mm, you can't hire that guy. He says in television, kicks ass too much. Although I doubt, I mean, I'm sure Tommy Tallarico, on his various videos he's done, has had some stuff that, you know, people might not find <laughs> too uh, family friendly. So we all have our moments. There's an adult after hours side, as they say, of in television too. Because some people never grow up. I haven't. So even though I'm in my 50s and getting colonoscopies, uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, <laughs> See, I'm, I'm just so hyper. I should be really skinny. I'm just hyper and I do a lot of stuff around here. Although I am starting to lose some weight. So anyway. Demon Attack for Odyssey 2. So is this a 1983 Demon Attack? I don't... This I, I'm wondering if Demon Attack is one of those um, offshoot games that, that came out afterwards. I don't know. Okay, it, it, there's actually... So here's... He's got some writing in the box. He created... Cre he's an elf from Santa's Village. He's created a nice little uh, unboxing here for me to do. And this says, TJ... Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. TJ, Demon Attack from 2600 Connection. And that's for Odyssey 2. And then, I can't say this other stuff yet. Because... There's another game here, and this is, I think, the surprise, or was the Rick Dynamite surprise? Both of them were kind of a surprise. Uh, this is another new game, foreign television. And it's called Zombie Madness, for one to two players. And I'll do a proper review on this, but the picture, I don't know if this will pick up or not, probably too far. This looks really fun. And he says, he wrote in here, zombie, I don't know if there's anything, oh, inside here, from 2600 Connection, box overlays Steve Jones box something. So inside here must be overlays and such for this game, Zombie Madness. Let me pop open the case really quick here. And then we'll end the video. Some, so we can see the cartridge. I don't know if there's anything in here. I, I'll have to open it up because there is in here in television zombie Magnus, Ma uh, Magnus, Madness, our house. 
in the middle of the street are. <laughs> Remember that song, Madness? I think there's Madness. So there's that and the cartridge. Zombie Madness. This must be a new style cartridge that's pretty common for use. So super cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Casey. Um, I don't have... I can, I'm amazed that you sent me all these goodies. Thank you very much. There's tons of videos that are going to have to come now. Uh, keeping me busy doing videos on retro computer stuff. And hopefully you guys all enjoy the, the uh, way that I deliver uh, these type of videos. And hopefully it makes you excited to do the same thing. There's a lot of fun in the world of... Um, retro computing and retro consoles and uh, rather than follow all the negativity that you see on YouTube follow stations like mine and others that are positive like OEBP that just come out and they're good people and they have fun about their products and they don't do these videos to just kind of get hits and all that clickety clackety stuff so anyway thank you very much Mr. Casey wonderful unboxing now time for me to edit and get to work and getting this video put up and I look forward to playing some of these games and doing videos on them. So again, thank you very much, Mr. Casey, and you have a nice rest of your day. Peace out, guys. See ya.